Welcome, everyone, to the Extra Ordinary Gentleman Podcast. Today, it is myself, as usual, and Dylan, as himself, as usual, and a guest that's been on here before. Pretty usual, I guess. But never live. Uh Huh? Oh, never in person, you mean? Yes. Yep. Because of the Rona. Because of the Rona. Introducing Brooklyn Edwards. Standing in for Alex. Yep. Well, Alex isn't. You're you're more more of a regular than he is. For real? <laughs> oh yeah. He hasn't been on the podcast since the first two episodes. He yep. gets a lot of tummy aches. He does get some. He gets some bad IBS. That, <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I think uh, margaritas and uh, buffalo chicken pasta is probably not the not greatest mixture, combo. I you know. probably should have thought about that beforehand, but right. It's more of the quantity of the two. You have to make sure they're balanced the perfectly. One of yeah, each. I... <laughs> it's a one to one ratio. <laughs> yep. It wasn't even a lot. It was just enough to make it happen. <laughs> yeah. So today we are not where we normally record. We are in the wilderness. But what wilderness? The the woods. The, the deep woods. woods. Deep woods. The, the northern North woods. woods. North woods of a state. By a lake. A lake. A lake. Do you ever announce what state you're in, or is that like I don't super remember. secret? It's Zach not. said what lake we his cabin's at. Oh jeez! So if we just say that we're at the cabin, they know. Then the they know. cabin. They, yeah, the cabin. Zach's cabin. Every time I type in the name of this lake, though, like into Google, just straight up, it just it does not know. This is not a popular lake by any metric. Oh, I'm sure not. Even going to the DNR's website, I have to like really dig through to get to this lake. The greatest thing about talking about lakes in Minnesota, though, is. Uh, like any of my clients, you say, uh, "Yeah, I'll tell them." Oh, I'm going up to so and so lake, and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah." I'm like, "You don't know." Oh yeah, I know that is. Oh yeah, it's right by Pine Lake and Bass Lake. And yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah. Oh yeah, like, I know that place. Yeah, I've been to all eleven thousand eight hundred and forty-two lakes in the state of Minnesota <laughs> over the size of it ten reminds, acres. It reminds me of that uh, the meme format of from Batman Beyond yep. with the radiation guy. He's like, "Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who is there? Me. So anyways, yeah. the challenge we are doing today. Can you believe we're drinking more whiskey? We are going to do a blind tasting in a category set by us that the three of us went and purchased set whiskeys under these set of restrictions and guidelines. Okay. The categories were bourbon, $20 or less. That yeah. was it. That and was we, it. we just don't know what each other bought. Yep. We're going to have somebody... Pour them. Pour them for us. Yep. So we don't know what they are. Pour them for them. So shall we begin? We shall begin. Look at boy. Service me some. While he does it. Uh, so we guys, don't know. We're, we don't find know. out at the end. We'll find out at the end. Who's? We're going to rank these. Yeah. Okay. We're going to. We're gonna. That's the, that's the thing. Because what can we get for our $20? Okay. So we're uh-huh. getting like ABC. Yep. And then we're going to see at the end what the whiskeys are. And then after we find out what the whiskeys are, we find yep. out who picked out exactly. the whiskeys. Oh. Hmm. That, that's the point. And tax, okay. we did not include the tax. It was just sticker price, yep. $20 or less. Yep. So a tax might be about point. It yeah. might be. And if it was on sale, that is a tech, that's, a, that's a technicality. And the, Well, the other rules, too, we should say is uh, we weren't allowed to get half size bottles, but you were allowed to get a 7 or a 175 or a 750. Because don't they they sell like Johnny Walker Blue in those little tiny bottles, don't they? Well, like, how much are one of those? That's still oh, I like, think it's like 28 bucks or something. Oh, it's still it's over still, the, it's yeah. the threshold. Yeah, because yeah. it's, like, it's Johnny Walker. But Blue. like Woodford, the regular bottle. Thank you. The regular bottle of Woodford Reserve is like 23 dollars, I think. So it's not much more over the you know the price that we set. But uh, wait, that's all the expensive Woodford is. Yeah, I always think it's for it's because I get the double oak. Yeah, yeah the double oak. I always go for the double oak. That's good. forty bucks yeah. at least. Yeah, but the um, you can get a half bottle for under twenty dollars. Oh, and both Alex and I were you know jokingly like we get that, and obviously we would destroy the whiskeys that we got, right? I mean, because <laughs> Woodford is definitely better. Mm-hmm. Um, so we kind of just said we we couldn't do that, but. All right, let's do some smellings. Right. That's what I was This is number one. We don't have the Norlands today, so no. you know we're going to be using these shot glasses. It smells kind of piney to me, like a sappy tree. Yeah, like a sap maple. Could also be because we're literally by like 
hundreds of pine trees in the are woods. Are these all straight whiskeys, or is there any flavored stuff in here? Cause that's, no flavored. Because this almost smells, like, too sweet. Like, it's, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, I get, like, a weird, like, fakey smell. Yeah, Maybe no flavored. Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? A vanilla. Mm-hmm. Did you guys want some? Mm-hmm. Hey, you got a Red Bull. Becker Boy's got a Red Bull. Mm-hmm. I, I think we're just chilling. All right. We're all, all right. just chilling. Um, we have an audience this time. Can you, can you believe that we have an audience? Well, I was going to cut out that part. It's oh, super okay. awkward. But I was just, mm-hmm. you know. Was... Mm-hmm. Anyways. This, uh, you said piney? Yeah, it's a piney. I you already know. tried it. That's fine. Was that not supposed to? Yeah, you can try it, yeah. Oh, man. It's Yeah, it's really syrupy. Doesn't it taste like almost fake? Yeah, it does. Like, it seems like there's, like, a flavoring in there or something. It's not bad, though. It doesn't taste bad, but that's why it makes think me, like, one's... think, like, there's something in it. This leaves a dryness in my mouth. This Please. yeah, one, because I think I know what Alex got. Yeah. Just by the bottle shape. Not 100% sure. There were my, both his and uh, my bottle were in brown paper bags. Me yeah. being Alex, I know <laughs> what I picked. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is okay. I don't want to say it because this is the first one, but I do feel like this might be I mean, mine. if somebody handed okay. me this, I would not turn it away, but I doubt I would turn away, like, any whiskey that someone handed <laughs> me for free. Uh, 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 but that's the know, thing. It's like, these, these are all... Uh, I couldn't do a Fireball. Oh, fireball. Fire, I, well, I mean, I would never drink Fireball straight. Right. Mi- well, mixed. I mean... I always make... Then, then you're gonna it's get always par- good yeah, with, like, an going. Angry Orchard or, oh, like, a yeah. Red Zapple Ale yeah. or something like that. You throw out some of that, especially in the fall when you get that nice crisp air. I like... That's refreshing. I like this. Yeah. The, the body's really good too, I think. I want to finish. That's the that's, that's the only thing I dislike. The, the, the dryness finish. that you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, I, I get that too. Because it's not like an alcoholic vapor dryness. It's just like my tongue is like just left absent of devoid of anything. It is a little syrupy, which I I like that because it, mm-hmm. it gives it more texture. Yeah, yeah nice nice uh, mm-hmm. vis- viscousness. It's not thin. It doesn't drink right. like a forty percent. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's not thin at all. I mean, it's it's under twenty dollars. Right, number another... one's my number one so far. Yeah. What's your guess? What's your guess on your proof? Well, I if, if I think I know what if it's mine, yeah, then I know the proof, but I don't want to tell you. I'm gonna say it's like a forty. Well, okay, I will, Zach, I'm gonna say it's like I'm, it's like proof eighty-eight is. proof. Okay, 80 proof. Yeah. So it's a little bit above the minimum. So you're guessing forty-four. Forty-four percent alcohol. Yeah, forty-four percent. I feel like it's a little think? hotter than that. Okay. I don't think it's like a lot hotter than that, but I feel like it might be up to like a ninety proof. Because you can get an Evan Williams bottle and bond for twenty bucks. Mm. Oh, I don't think it's Evan Williams though, because I drink a lot no, of that. But you could pretty easily get a hundred or fifty percent mm-hmm. alcohol mm-hmm. for around twenty dollars. That's the perfect reasoning. How drunk can you get on how little money? <laughs> how drunk on your buck? Drunk on your buck. Drunk exactly. On your buck, and that's vodka. You got to get yeah the most alcohol per. Per liter dollar. of liquid, I think that is a excellent bourbon for twenty dollars. Yeah, I'd say overall, my entire whiskey tasting experience, I give like a six out of ten. Six out of ten. Yeah. What? How would you grade? Like, if you were gonna buy a bourbon mm-hmm. that you would say is worth a six out of ten, what would your price be for that? Oh, uh, I guess if it's at that point, if, I just uh, if, if I've had it. If I had it before and I knew it was a six out of ten, I wouldn't spend probably more than like twenty five dollars. Okay. But if someone was telling me like, oh, like, like this is a trendy, this is a trendy whiskey, like this is like a six out of ten, you know, then just to try it, I'd probably spend like a thirty two, thirty three dollars. Yeah. Just because I gotta try stuff, you know. Do you guys have any guesses for that last one? It, it tasted like. I, well, he said it, it didn't taste quite like Evan Williams, and I agree. But I thought it was like a regular Evan Williams. Yeah, maybe I it's thought, a regular. I, like black I don't. Label. I don't think it's yeah, the, the black and label. Bond. Yeah, I thought it was like a black label Evan maybe Williams. Black label, yeah. It could be. It drink hot. It, I've never. Drink... I, ironically enough, I've never had the black label. I don't mm-hmm. think the only I time remember. I have was when Brooke, uh, Alex had it, and I had the bottled and bond, and we side by side. Yeah. yeah. That drank hotter mm-hmm. uh, than because what is that? Forty percent, I think. Uh, the regular black Evan Williams. But um. This almost looks like a rosé. That looks, cl- yeah, that looks lighter. Mm. I don't have mine yet, but uh, judging from Zach and Brooklyn's, they <laughs> they look. Uh, it's almost like a, like somebody handed me like uh, not a rosé. I don't know wine. I'm just saying things. It looks like uh, a twelve year rosé, <laughs> five point 
possibly from the like region of wine. California. Like, it looks like a white wine with like a pink tinge yeah. to it. I think it might just be the lighting in here. Not a whole lot off the nose, really. It's got like a dry oak smell weak. to it, which yeah, is like yeah, a dried bourbon. Wood. Yeah. <laughs> See, like I got it's that dried wood though. This is yeah. what freaks me out about it, is I had that, that kind of hit my head too, but it was as you were saying it. So now I'm trying to think of you just influenced me. In oh, thinking I'm totally that. warping you. Yeah. Or or if I actually I'm in got your like, head. I was yeah. like oh we're yeah, your, I smelled that. Get out I, of there! I, I I smelled that for real. All right, going on taste. This is a lot lighter. Yeah, I think this is. Is this this might be on the floor? This is an eighty. Yeah, this is really low. Like this barely tastes like alcohol. I think this is like the problem is the one that I light. think mm-hmm. Alex Level got. <laughs> I've actually never tried. Yeah. Me so, neither. Yeah, I don't know. But you don't know what he got. I. I was at the store with him. I left before he picked. But judging from the you height, closed your eyes and kept the, going. La, 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 la. Yeah, judging from the height of the bottle. It can only have been a few. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. This just tastes. This tastes so weak. It's, it's not so bad, but I don't. I don't like it. It can't be bad because there's not enough of it to so, be bad. Yeah, right. I, I guess I get that. I, like, it's this, like this how like does a, water taste? You know, like yeah. I mean, I guess you have bad tasting water. Yeah, this but is really light. Like, the second taste. Oh, man, we shouldn't have started. Maybe we. Should, maybe we should have had Connor subversion subvert subvert our expectations by going up and prove, but. Okay, so then we then we kind of know though because then if, we know it's going up. Improved. If ours was higher that's, that's proof, exactly, yeah, we, we, can, do that. we can't do that. Regardless. Connor, therefore, you are doing an adequate. We job. almost yeah, just need more than three. Yeah, three is too small. That's some yeah. sample size. I don't know. Uh, for future episodes, that's just like a. Four you go right. throw it. You could go get another one and just not tell us what it is. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, go do that. Actually, should you should you wait till the third one? Probably wait till the third. Oh, I'll throw a fourth one in there. Randomly. Well, then, well, then we can't because then we know which. Yeah. One. <laughs> yeah, so go now. Go now. Yeah, go now. Yeah. Oh, because okay. if we wait until yeah, the throw, third one, throw a fourth one in there to mix Wait, it up. Does it have to say bourbon on it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No. It does. Although, I mean, if you if you pour a bottle of Lagavulin, I mean, it's we'll like, know it pretty quick. This, is, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> this tastes like. Well, and <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, we've had the the bourbons that we brought here. We've had enough of. I think that we'll probably be able to. But how it much out. more embarrassing would it be if we got we it did, wrong? If we got it wrong. Yeah. Well, now now you're setting the stakes. The stakes. The stakes are out and set. Yeah. They've been put in the ground. Do you guys have any guesses on this? Pff, I really. Any names, brands, proofing? Age. I've never tasted something this week. I'll before. be honest. I've never bought cheap whiskey. I when I turned twenty one, mm-hmm. I I went to the liquor store, and I bought a bottle of Jack Daniels because that was the only whiskey I knew. And I looked at the guy, and he looked at my license, and he was like, "Oh, you literally just turned twenty one." Yep. And I looked at him, and I said, "Yep." And he's like, "Well, I guess thanks for." Making us your first purchase? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not out with your friends right now. No, yeah. really. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty sad. It's like, <laughs> kind of cool. awkward. <laughs> and yeah, so so I'm gonna say this, and I think that was the only cheap bottle I've ever really bought, other than El- yeah. Elvin Williams. My my first on. bottle was uh, Knob Creek 100, because mm-hmm. uh, I recognize it. Essentially, we kind of talked about that before, but I'm gonna say this to me. Tastes like a Four Roses. Yeah, I guess. I was kind of thinking that because I I was trying to remember if I've had the regular, the regular. Yeah, because I I haven't had the regular. I the cheapest get, one I get I've the, had the, is the, the barrel proof. Yeah, yeah. I don't. but the cheapest one that I think you and I had well, the single barrel was the regular small batch. Regular small batch. Yeah. Is it the single barrel or the barrel proof? You single, have the, you, you usually the sing, single barrel. Yeah, fifty yeah. percent. Because then there's a barrel proof, which I have, which is you and I tried, one, which is yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, this, actually, yeah, you're right. Four Roses does seem it has that because it tastes fruity like the like the small batch. It, it's a uh, like the it's select, less, but it's it just, less of it. Yeah, yeah, less of the select, which is yeah. I didn't really care for too, and that was like thirty seven dollars. Yeah, yep. whatever the one before this was, I would definitely buy that over this for the same yeah, this price. Is, well, this yeah, is, yeah, this I is agree. number this two. This is last place out of two, so it's second place. But how much? So we it's like a place is last place. Yep. that small batch select is thirty seven dollars. First, right? your last. The small batch select yeah. was yeah thirty eight dollars. I don't even know. Thirty seven ninety nine. I'd pick that other one over this because it was better. It's just I could feel it more. So yes, <laughs> it's literally so just it, because there's more you, alcohol. You liked it more. <laughs> I don't know if I even liked it more though. Oh, like really? this is really? smooth. Well, because this is smoother. Well, what, like no. I like this is a more enjoyable experience. But the other one, I knew it was alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> but flavor wise, <laughs> so which, which like, one do you uh, like? 
neither. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, which I, one do you prefer? You have to pick one. There's only uh, two. Probably the first one, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I, I wouldn't say this was enjoyable, though. Like, yeah. this, this doesn't make me feel happy to drink this. <laughs> yeah, the other one, it's just like, no. even though I don't like the flavor, it's like, I'm drinking I'm alcohol. drinking something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, no, I agree with that. I'm you, getting there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one way or another. It's halfway decent. That's fine enough. Because before this, I had, I was telling the other guys, I bought a uh, Ancient Age. What'd mm-hmm. you get? And <laughs> and uh, fighting cock <laughs> yeah. as as ones that I was gonna and then I got a third bottle mm-hmm. and I tasted both uh, all three yep and the third bottle won so leaving out the ancient age and the fighting cock in my opinion were just not as good yeah. fighting cock to me just had a weird taste to weird it. funk to it yeah it's got but, a weird name too fighting cock yeah what does the bottle look like. It's a normal. What does the bottle look like? Sorry, I was like under the microphone. It's, it's like, a normal bottle. I guess it, it was like a liter water bottle. Honestly, it's just a glass bottle. Yeah, it doesn't have any distinctive qualities, and it's got a cock on it. Twist up. It's got a cock. <laughs> yeah. On it. They were age dated for a while. The six. Oh, were they really? Yep. I don't know. I think that. it's a Heaven Hill product. It's like fifty three percent too, so mm-hmm. it's not even like scraping bottom at the forty percent when it's the ancient age. Age, however, was forty percent, but that's a. Buffalo Trace product, yeah, um, which was fine, but it's it's a mixing whiskey. It's not, you know, it's just watery. But if that's what you like, if that's what you're into. Just give Zach. Oh, man, sorry, I want to be cool like. Boys. Uh, I want to be cool the, like Ash and the, roll up my pants. This one's my pant legs. This one's darker than the last. Mm-hmm. This. This is one. This is the one he got. This is probably. This is, this is yeah. This, this is, is like too dark. Like, and this too is good. like old. Is this the seventeen ninety two? Yeah, the seventeen. This is the seventeen ninety two. Yeah. Don't oh tell us. Oh my don't, god! Don't tell us. He called, like, look at him. He's just. I don't even know what I grabbed. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but so this it, this is not a contender for the twenty dollar. Yeah. Range. Oh, but what if it yeah, is? Yeah, what if it is? We don't and it's about to blow our minds. Okay, Somebody. Well, and pick the whiskey. This not spicy though. Like the I haven't even tasted it yet. I just this is off look and Sorry. smell. This is a 1792. It, 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 this this is so distinctively syrupy that unless I, I unless agree. he pulled Brooklyn's Henry McKenna, the only bourbons we have down there are the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, mm-hmm. 1792 Bottle and Bond. Yep. And Old Granddad 114. Yep. This is not Old Granddad. It doesn't have the Jim B nuttiness to it. It's yep. not high rye. Yep. The Evan Williams has the nuttiness to it. This has to be the 1792. Mm-hmm. I'm going to agree. Which that's, I love. I think yeah, you know more about these recipes than this, I do. I, I, don't, I love the 1792 bottle of bond. Do and you? This is probably my favorite 1792 product. Small batch. I never liked, really. Where does 1792 line up with your other like favorite whiskeys? Like, is it a top contender for like, like as far as bourbons? Like, like if you can only have five whiskeys in your shelf, what are you gonna buy? You know what I mean? Whiskeys in general or bourbon? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, bourbon. Let's say bourbon. This would be my top five then. Yeah, mm-hmm. really? probably number four to three. You might guess. Wow. Okay. So okay. on the lower end of that, but still top five. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I gotta yeah. disagree just because that was. I don't think it's bad at all, but the syrupy was too much. Like, the first one I thought was syrupy, and that was even more syrupy, and I thought that detracted. But this is a syrupy sweetness and cherry. It's like a cherry grenadine yeah. almost. Yeah, know? that's that, yeah. I, lo- I like that. I agree with that. I, that was a good one. Anyway, of course, we're, we're saying, like, yeah, it's definitely the 1790s. Like, it has to be. I love that you called that out so instantly. Well, we only had, I mean, if we only had five bottles. Yeah, and we did, yeah. And, and was, they're very distinct from yeah, one another. It was a 50-50. And we, uh, you don't know how much I have in the liquor cabinet in the back of my truck. Did you know there was liquor in the back of the cabinet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm making a surprised face. If no one can Pikachu that. surprise face. Pikachu surprise yeah. face. That's a good way to describe it. That's a good meme. Now, I don't even see the original Pikachu su- surprise face. I just see, like, someone... I'll, when it got popular on Reddit, someone like uh, cell shaded the whole thing, and that's the that's the picture people use now. Really? Yeah. I don't I know not if I've seen, seen the cell shaded one. Yeah. yeah. The cell shaded Pikachu that you speak of. 
Can you describe it more? It's just the same. It's the same drawing as the, the first one, but more vibrant color. Interesting. That's it. <laughs> Getting dramatic here with our giving of the liquor. What do you guys think of the color? Oh, and on this, this one, one smells like whiskey. This one smells, <laughs> smells like whiskey. <laughs> My snifter detector. <laughs> color doesn't look much different from the mm -hmm. other two it's almost like when you're spending under 20 dollars on whiskey you're not gonna get anything too dark what are you saying <laughs> you're not gonna get anything you're not gonna that be well great. aged yeah mm. hmm. Noah's, i can't i can't pick anything out on the Noah's. i can't either but i'm trying to figure out like that 1790 yeah. or, or what i think is a 1792 mm -hmm. had a much this tastes kind of or sorry that taste it smells kind of like it tastes like alcohol yeah. It smells sweet and like uh like I don't, I don't know if you can describe I get a little the, nuttiness. Oh crap. I don't know if you can describe the smell of a breeze, but So the first one I thought might have been mine. Now I, I, I this, this one's one is it. Oh I don't know. I hope I hope Connor remembered which one he poured. This is nice and <laughs> Oh Rona. <laughs> My bad. Nice and caramely. What if you went back? I don't think he he wouldn't have done that. He's not that smart <laughs> <laughs> to throw to throw us off. <laughs> well, what if he did? Well, what if? What well, this doesn't taste like the other ones though. It doesn't taste. This is not syrupy enough for this. The first one, and it's not. Well, it's not weak enough for the second because one. Because you've had so many whiskey since then. Right, we, we haven't did, watched anything out in between. That's true. We didn't. These are just. I've been washing it out. <laughs> With a, a, is that a margarita or? Vodka Red Bull. Vodka Red Bull. Allegedly. Allegedly. I think I have a formed opinion on ranking. Excluding what I believe is the 1792. Mm -hmm. This is actually my favorite so far. Really? To be honest, yeah. This is second for me. I think I like the first one the best. Like, like you said, this is the most enjoyable. I think I agree. You thought, you thought that second one was enjoyable? Yeah. But. I, I think I agree with Zach. Top number one. Yeah. That's what the, I must say. So you, 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 I guess we're done now. So, so my ranking, um, the last one we just had is mm -hmm. my favorite. Yep. Followed by the first one, mm -hmm. and then followed by the second. Really? Because I well. Oh, you're not including the seventeen. The seventeen ninety two. Well, we we should throw the third because we don't what know. If it's because not, we don't know that. What if it's not? It, so just throw it in. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. We don't know. So all right. So my factory and everything. Yep. You are so committed. From the bottom. What if you're wrong? Yeah, what if I'm wrong? Yeah. From the bottom. Don't get high, you know. Um, I think that number two is my least favorite. The yep. second one. Okay. Followed by Probably number one. one. Yep. And then. Three, four. I, I think the third. No, no, excuse me. This, this one we just had is my third. And then the last one we did is my favorite. So what that would be. So, but the last one we did. So, you you, you said this one was your third fit. The last pre, the previous I should have said. Okay, okay, the previous. Yep. Okay. So so I it would have been I guess uh, uh two least favorite. Yeah. One, four, three. One, four, three. Okay. Yep. I am two, three, one, four. Two, three, yeah, worst, worst, worst to, best. to best. Two, three, one, four. I dislike that second one. What really? You didn't like? I thought the first one was better number, than, you this, didn't like than three. what we thought was the seventeen ninety two. I I just oh. didn't, I enjoyed the first one more than that. That's just be, just because the third it was one, sweeter. It was the, sweeter, the, but the, the, number three. Well, the third one was too. No, the first one was sweeter than no, the third one. No, no, the third one was sweeter, yeah. but it was it was too syrupy. Because the sweetness was in the syrupiness, I didn't like that. The third one is very sweet. Mm. Yeah, it's probably the most sweet. Yep. And this is this is an absolute pleasant drink. I what I think is the third one, if it is the seventeen ninety two, I think it hides the alcohol very well. Mm hmm. Number two is on the floor. That has. I to almost be, need yeah. like a piece of paper in front of me to write down. Yep. To You're four, so I mean, but it, it can't be too hard, right? Well, so what, worst listening worst. to worst to best. Yeah. Yes. Can I list the best to worst because this is already mixed. Fine. Right? Just do best to worst. Uh -huh. I'd almost want to have them in front of me to try them individually next to each other. <laughs> we don't, yeah. we can't do Some that. people do I know that. We can't, we can't like do they, that. They go we're, through we're a drinking four out of shot then, glasses. Yeah. We're not, 
<laughs> Next time you do something like this, I think that's what we should do is I have a table and we'll have them like in front of us. And we'll have just like small mm. glasses. So that way you can kind of go in between them all. Yeah. And then you can keep trying just them. Camping and be like, the devil. You may not know, but I, yeah, no, no, no that's why we didn't do it this time. <laughs> there's actually a table. I mean, let's be design. honest. It's a sub twenty dollar whiskey, so it's like not gonna be that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yep. Like, I think when you get, in, I think what the real like tipping point is is when you get into that forty dollar range. Yeah, because I feel like you get like, oh no, a lot of heavy hitters. But that's that's why big, we did the twenty dollars. Yeah, exactly. Is because what yep. can you get? Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say all of them except for the second one are worth are worth the money. Oh, I yeah. agree. No, I think assuming, that's, a fair, that's the first statement. I think my best the one was the one first one. Think. Second best was the third one. Sorry, what was your first one? The last first, one we did? My first is the first. Yeah, okay, the first so one like we have, I think, the was the best okay. one. Okay, yep. Was the best one. Yep. I think the second best one was the third one we had. The fourth best was the last... Or no, the third best was the fourth one we had, and the second one we had was the... Worst. Just... Last place. So okay. you're going one, four, three, and two? two. One, three, four, two, yeah. Okay. Three. So okay. For so do we what do we what was the worst at all? All do second, we all agree? The second one was pretty much we all agree. Second, second right. one it's was just the worst. it didn't taste so like So Connor, bring out the second one. I know what the second one is. Like you, just know? Like, you just know now? Mm-hmm. Oh no, I, I kinda knew because like I have had it before, I'm pretty sure, but Oh be I don't know. See. I forgot you looked at it. Yeah, it's the four yeah, roses. Yeah, four roses. it is okay. the four roses. I knew it. What's the? Yeah, uh, can I see that bottle? Or Brooklyn? Could... Yeah, that was weak. That was. That weak. Was so weak. What, what am I gonna do? It's forty percent. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's it's what I mean. It's, it's completely. It's on basically the floor. like four roses. We make good whiskey. Yep. This one's not. <laughs> we diluted this our good whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> we diluted our whiskey. We diluted our good whiskey until it's just water. Yeah, and that's what that tastes. I mean. Like. Yeah, like there's alcohol in it. It'll I'm get actually you drunk. surprised because total wine. Well, because a... it's smooth. Don't get me wrong, because it's like yeah, it's there's like no burn. Right. Mm-hmm. It's super smooth, super easy drinking. If you're gonna yeah, mix that, it would actually be pretty pretty good. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you're already putting a mixer or something in it. Here's so, the... You know, you don't care if it tastes watery. Yeah. Here's the thing about this: we stopped at the super one in Virginia. That was like nineteen some cents total wine. It's over twenty. Mm-hmm. So. Which is actually surprising. It's over twenty, just because the for what it, it is. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't bad, but mm-hmm. you know, it's a distiller thing. They're like, "This is our bottom whiskey. I, we gotta charge a certain I amount for it." I am pretty sure I've had conversations with people where I suggest to them four roses, but when I'm suggesting them four roses, I'm suggesting the single, single barrel, barrel oh, yeah. and, and they don't understand that, and yeah. then they go buy that one. They're like, "Oh, it's so smooth." Because you so can good. get the single but barrel. But they talk, so I don't know if it's just because I've influenced them, right? Or, and they're try to be nice forever mm-hmm. or like if they actually like it or you know yeah because then mean, if you I've if seen, you have that side by side there's no you know there's uh, no competition like, i've seen oh a lot of gosh, recommendations yeah, on reddit too for day. that that four roses the regular that one. that four roses. that one yeah it's not bad because like we, i mean it's like, flat. like it, well, especially th- this was more stuff for people who, it's an awesome entry whiskey that's like a, if you I, don't I just want to say that yeah. if you've never had whiskey before you just yeah. want to like try some see what it kind of tastes like yeah that's it's not that going to challenge you that's in not any a, way. it's not offending at all yeah. you know? no exactly all right you know, bring out bring out number well, one because we all disagreed on what was our favorite so we'll just do it the order yeah right that we they came out in yeah so we'll do the first sure. one okay might as well at this point um yeah no, it's, it's i feel like i feel like the first one is mine our preferences are based because we've had so many whiskeys at this point. We actually like something that's a little challenging. Like, almost. Like, it yeah. is Fighting Cock. Yeah, it was mine. Yeah. I bought, <laughs> I bought Fighting bottle. Cock. I want to see what that looks like. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't bring Fighting Cock. Yeah. That is such a I was gonna, bottle. So I was going to buy this or, like or, or Rebel Yell. There's a sticker on, on the top they didn't of have that bottle. I was, I was thinking Rebel Yell, too. <laughs> yeah, but I, I decided on Fighting Cock. because This was number one? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, it was, that was the first, first one we did. 103 proof. I knew it tasted spicy. Yep. So you guys really like this one. I, yeah, I do like it. But I'll one. be honest, the only reason I liked it is because I could taste there's a lot of alcohol uh-huh. in it. Right. Oh, yeah, it drank ho- hot. Yeah, it drinks hot. Is mine? I try this trouble. Here, I try some second of that, too. Yeah, put them on the sponge. <laughs> the sponge. Mm-hmm. So it sucks up um, all the... That's interesting because I didn't actually think poorly of this one this time mm-hmm. whereas when i did my test i didn't like it yeah and, and oddly enough this because it was the first one this was untainted glass so like it's not like we could have a different right tainted opinion maybe it's just better in a shot glass uh i don't need more than the already, Glen Karen. Just, I, I do i, I want to try this wh- whichever one, one tried so many senses whichever one, one is the the, the fourth one i want more of that 
We'll it's not find bad. out. We'll find out soon. So this, so is this our number three? This is our first one. No, but like so this was my uh, oh. number two, and this was his number two. I think. No, because you did. What was, what was your listing again? It's a crack of thunder. Outside. You did four. You did four, <laughs> he three, did one, four, two, or four, three. one, three, two. No, he did three. One was number one. Oh, yeah, oh, you're, that was your number one. One was what? Fighting cock was my okay. number one. Okay. Purely because I could taste it. Was the sure. <laughs> so, so you and me. We thought four was the best. We thought four was. Okay. Yeah. So, At this point, I think I'm confident that four was mine, though. Yeah, I think. I think. So where should we put the third one? Just, just bring the third one just out. Just bring that one. Yeah. Huh? Never mind. Go get it. We can decide it all after we're done. Because now we know what order. So bring out the third. This podcast is going to be throwing numbers yeah, around and not like, sure what the placing about? is. No way. Wait, this what? was number. You brought out this? This was three? No way. This oh, my God. This is the third one you brought out. This is Elijah Craig small batch. That means that the fourth proof. one was not seventeen ninety two. Well, no, well, no, you, 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 we right? Thought, we thought but this one was. Then the fourth one, one I thought was, was this. No, you said it's actually seventeen eighty nine. Oh. It says on the bottle. Wait, this is what you brought? This, so yeah, pretty this cool. is what I brought. I'll be okay. honest, you're only three years off. But this isn't this isn't less than twenty bucks, is it? It's twenty two dollars or twenty three. No, I got it for twenty bucks. Where? I have a picture and a receipt. Okay. You. <laughs> I've never seen this for less than twenty. Yeah. I was gonna say that's actually like a pretty awesome whiskey for and, no, yeah. and it's a single barrel yeah. pick. What? Where'd you buy that at? New Prague, baby. New Prague. New Pragu. On sale until the end Shoot, of uh, that, September. Oh, remember how uh, we, you, 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 wait, do you realize count. how many times we've recommended that? That's awesome. And that that was like one of yeah. our least favorites. No, it wasn't a least favorite. No, but two was the least, but that was I think that was my but that I love my how number all of us three. just assume like, oh, this is the This, this is seventeen ninety two bottled and bond. Not that even that, my, just like this is this the is my number two. This yeah. is this is the one that like doesn't belong, mm-hmm. even though it was well, not necessarily the one that's yeah. definitely over twenty dollars is the one that doesn't belong. Yeah. <laughs> this well, this is the third one, right? That we had. Yeah. This is the third one that I thought that was... that you thought was the more expensive whiskey. Yeah. But I thought it was smoother, which was mm-hmm. interesting because number four was definitely spicier. So now I'm wondering if it was it, old granddad. Hmm. I, do you guys want to try number four again before yeah, he brings it out? I do. Okay. But uh, let me fin- I got so much mine, of this. Yeah. Why did I pour so much of this? Fighting cock. Oh, for God. <laughs> yeah, that's 100 proof. That's 106 or something, right? Um, it's over. Yeah. Three. That's, that's, that's good stuff. Wow. What was that, like 15 bucks? <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> total. It was, it was 16. That's even less than that. Williams. Yeah. God dang. I should see if there. I think I have the receipt in my pocket. Yeah. I knew I had it. I knew I had to keep this because somebody was going to challenge me. Yeah. Is this it? I hope this is the one. Yeah, Colburn's. Thank you. Did you yeah. left that in your pocket this whole time? Well, because I knew that I was going to get challenged for the Evan Williams. How game. many days have you had that in your pocket? Two. Okay. Was... Well, I actually won because I put it in my pocket when we came up. For this uh, podcast. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I paid. The Elijah Craig. Oh, it still says 12 year on the cashier check. Because it used to be. It used to be 12 yeah. bit red, is what it was called. They just, well, I mean. They removed the age statement. Yeah, there's no reason to change it, though, in their systems because it's the same product. No, no, exactly. That's an interesting concept to change the age statement later down the line. Like, we have it. Well, because the supply is runs out. increased, mm. you'll see they that, have less 12 years. You see that in Japanese whiskey all the time. Oh, nothing's got age statements it, anymore. Is it. Is it more of something like I almost view it as like maybe they build up a brand that way because everybody's like, oh, it's an age statement, yeah, and then they start buying it just based off the name. Sometimes, and then at that point, the age I mean, statement doesn't really matter. I don't. I think, I think that's a plus. A name I, for it, so. I don't think that's why they do it, but that's a plus. Because look yeah. at look at Knob Creek. Knob Creek had age statement nine years, small batch. Lost it. Lost it. Now Brought it's back. back. The nine year age statement for Knob Creek is back. It was gone. Are you following? Yeah, maybe this okay. is the Henry McKenna, or the old granddad. It's definitely not the Henry McKenna. I know where the Henry McKenna is. He doesn't know where it's at. It's not high rye. No, I'm not. I'm not like bashing you or anything. You just don't know where it's at. It doesn't taste like a high rye old granddad. There's no, no. nuttiness. He took your spot. I'm sorry, bud. It can't be. There's no nuttiness. We should play Boggle after this. Play Boggle. So what are what are our options? Boggle. Well, this this could still be. 
1792 bottled in Boggle. I think what it ha- I doing here? I play Boggle with Zach's family. I kind of think it has to be. There's no rye what? Yeah. notes. Boggle. And no nennies. You want to play Boggle, yeah. bro? I've kind of lost Boggle. though because I thought I thought for sure I was with you. That number three, three was, was 1792. 1792. <laughs> Great pastime. But this tasted, um, I mean, this tasted lower proof than the third, but more right. pleasant. Right. Because I thought the Elijah, Elijah Craig yeah. 94 proof. So this is yeah. the non twenty dollar whiskey. Yeah. Right. This, this is, is the this is the one we like the most. Well, we that we like the most. Right. Um, and this was I, your, and this it's was not your that I two. didn't like this. It's just I knew the other one had more alcohol. Yeah. Well, well, this was your number two, though. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not the point. And, I know that was it's not, not the, the point. But that's fine. That's but fine, though. No. That's just an that. opinion. I'm like, this one is so any, Anyways, this is the receipt that I got from yep. the, um, when I purchased the Elijah Craig. 1998. <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> it was, and I got a picture. Here's the receipt. I got a picture to show you. I feel like we should have we should have included a non maybe. This is seventy two ninety. You can't tell what there's no, no there's the no such thing there's no such thing as an MSRP is there for whiskey. No, there's not. Unless you the buy well, unless it has a bucks. price. I bet if it I bet if it has a price at the Elijah Craig or Heaven Hill Distilleries, then that's amazing. Then that's yeah, the, 1998. That's, the stand, that's what you base it off of. <laughs> is this is this the shit? He's editing it. <laughs> Read it and weep, vi- Zach. Video evidence. Oh, come on, Cash dude. Cashier confirmed age over 21. <laughs> that doesn't count because it literally says it's on sale. Ugh. Like, if, if they, like, had it for 20 bucks. It's $10 off. Yeah, it doesn't count them. So it's $30. Yeah. It's a $30 bottle that he happened to get for, for 20 That counts. Not if it already has the Did on sale sticker on it. Before you came up with the concept. No, I didn't. Really, no. I, I feel I like didn't. that was so perfect. Because I was there, I called Zach because I found the, the log eight. eight. Yeah. I feel like you saw that on the shelf and you're like, I'm gonna screw them yeah. over. I'm gonna buy the like, yeah. like yeah. a way. I would have been. I would have been okay with it if it was like twenty, not on sale. That's just what Colburn sells it for. But no, that's a thirty dollar bottle you it's bought on sale, on sale for a month though. That's totally legit. But if it ever goes back up to thirty, then it doesn't count. It's on sale till nine twenty eight. I like it for the so the, the, the concept that you could find a deal on something. Right. Well, there's no limit on how many you could buy, right? No. You stock but, up but on. But that's it. the best part is. Well, yeah, the limit is how many are at the store. But that <laughs> well, that yeah. price. Yeah. But that like, price like you, is you for, could theoretically stack up on it. Yeah. Yeah. That price is for both the regular Elijah Craig. And the selected single barrel, mm-hmm. and I picked the single barrel. Yep. Because obviously that's more desirable. Yeah. So not only can you get the regular Elijah Craig, you get a hand picked store, well, pick for Less sub twenty dollars. Yep. So keyword hand-pick, keyword can hand picked <laughs> store pick. What 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 makes that like? They this- taste it prior to bottling. They say I want to purchase this barrel. They purchase it, then they get sent. With special labels on it. The special labels. It's a single barrel. It's well, not a blend. It's one barrel, single barrel, proof down. Okay. So all those barrels that you or bottles you see like single barrels, like the Henry McKenna is a single barrel bottle and bottle. Yeah, yeah. It's you're paying for the prestige of having a single barrel product. Right. So now they pick the barrel, but do they get presented like a lot of barrels that they get to tra- try out? They get like- select a hand. A hand few. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were like, you, you have five you can try. Out of these five, what do you want? Yeah. Depending on who you are, you're going to get some, yeah, you're going to get cherry pick barrels. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm sure Total Wine gets some better barrels than uh, MGM. Mm-hmm. But it's dictated Well, that's by what the I'm volume. wondering. Like, do they give like small liquor stores like a pretty good selection, like versus like, do, like a, a warehouse place like Total Wine? That's I think I think it really depends how much product you are purchasing from them. Yeah, which Total Wine would have way more buying power, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Than Colburn's and New Craig, yeah, or just Colburn's in general. <laughs> all right, so what do we think? Are we sticking in the 1792 to be You're number giving four away now? all your secret spots, Dylan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of our hardcore Minnesota he's listeners. Like, he's like, he's like, I can oh, I can edit Colburn's it out. Yeah. Your Colburn's <laughs> your Craig, sponsor me. So yeah, I guess. I'm sure I'm gonna say it's the old granddad because our palates are broken, and because it is. 
It, it has no Jim Beam. I, I have to look at. I know. The, I have I'm to look say at Connor is. and think about the psychology of Connor. What he yeah. would think would be a good whiskey yeah. to trick us. He's with. grabbing the 1792 because that was the only one, only one he's. You think this is the 1792? Mm-hmm. There's no Jim Beam nuttiness to it though. That's a trait that Jim Beam always has through and through. I don't. I, I should have looked closer at what whiskeys were there beforehand because now I don't know. Those um, were the only two. The only ones like then the Evan I, Williams, but it's not. Oh, those were the only two bourbons. Three. There's three down. There. All right, okay. Connor, Connor, go grab it. Yeah, just go just grab it. We didn't know. I'm gonna cause... say it's all granddad. He's saying it's 1792. Because I was already looking. You yeah, didn't make a the decision. The only ones I can remember are the log of the Brooklyn, you want to just take a guess? Take a guess. It's not log of the one. <laughs> that's it. That, that's good enough <laughs> that's for a me. Good guess. It's not log. All right, bring it out. Yep. What? Wait, where did you grab <laughs> that? No way. What? That is a sub twenty dollar bourbon, though. Dude, this is a sub twenty dollar bourbon. The seven fifty, <laughs> no. You no, picked exactly the not because the, the one seven five isn't, but but the seven fifty. Well, you think is. About the, Holy the crap, dude! One. I didn't okay. know that was there. What Wild was tur- that? Wild that Turkey one hundred one, guys, is the best bourbon for for me and Dylan. Holy crap! This is actually a pretty interesting turn of events. What? The the what what would what would you call that? Like the Trojan horse of the bunch where we got one outlier is actually sub twenty dollar bourbon and it beat everything else yeah. and no one else bought it. So this was Wild Turkey one oh one. Jesus Christ. This was our favorite. Oh and it's a hundred proof. Oh. And it beat out a <sighs> barrel pick. Crap. Yeah. That is crap because this is really good. Which like, that's like. We don't thank like, you for listening to this episode. No, we, we we had 101 in the bourbon trials and we did not like we it. We didn't like it. Well, also we're context matters, right? Yes, shot glasses matter, man. Shot glasses. <laughs> yeah, Best so bourbon. We're not sipping out of nice whiskey glasses. We're mm-hmm. sipping out of shot glasses. Yeah, I didn't bring Glen <laughs> yeah. All right, so worst. Well, that's a, that's Four wild turkey 101's roses. natural yeah. environment. <laughs> we drink it out of a shot, shot glass. Yeah. It's specially barreled yeah, for, that for, for, for that purpose. So the worst hands down is the Four Roses. Yep. Flat on the floor at forty percent. Yep. Followed by. I, I hate to say that, but yeah, yeah. I guess. I mean, if like for, if you were gonna buy a bottle, yeah, the, that would be the bottom. It was the uh, Evan Williams, or sorry, um, Elijah Craig. So you like the Elijah Craig next Ooh, less than the Fighting Cock more Brooklyn? than the what? Which one is your next least favorite? Your third favorite. Out of those three. Elijah Craig. Okay, so I'm outvoted, so that goes... Yep, that goes... Um, and then... Third. And then for... Uh, fighting Cock. I mean, that's next. Yeah, because that was his number one, my number two, and your number three. Yep. So and then... That's second. The and favorite then was four. the 101. Yep. So I lost this challenge. So well, I'm gonna, oh. We all I'm gonna, lost this yeah, We challenge. all lost. I'm going to say yeah. that my palate for tasting the most alcohol won out in this case. That wasn't the point. Yeah. Oh, it might not have been your point, but that was my point. Yeah. The one that was number one was the highest proof, and my second was- It wasn't number was one. Was the his, second his highest one. proof. Oh. It was in order. Yeah. The order of my favorites yep. was the highest, lowest proof. Yep. <laughs> Which I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but it means something to me, and I'm proud of myself. <laughs> well, I guess the point is, don't let price determine what you buy. What is good? Holy crap! That was a that threw me for a loop. I I, I always yeah. look down on Wild Turkey 101. I'd always go for the. Well, I still will go for the rare breed. <laughs> I still will turn it down yeah. and look down on it. Well, but... the, I'll always buy a rare breed above that. Yeah. But now I won't turn because my dad always drinks 101. Yeah, my dad's like super. Oh, I go for wild turkey, or it's like the, or if you watch uh, what's the show on it on Netflix, um, the the Marvel one, uh, the she's the private detective. Is anyone? Oh, uh, not Sarah Connor. What am I thinking of? Jones. John Connor. Jones. Uh, Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. She always has like a what a seven fifty. She's down in there. Mm. Tur- wild turkey one hundred one. It's like oh yeah, it's because this is the cheap trash whiskey. But it's a good cheap trash whiskey. Beat out the other ones. Yeah, the best cheap trash whiskey. Yeah, I was holding. I, I I've had the the fighting cock before, and I thought what was going to push it through was that higher proof. I'm like, because it's, it's got a lot of flavor in it, but not. Great. I, it's not great flavors, but it's got a lot of flavor in it. it. I just I don't know what. I was sure that that Elijah Craig was going to come out mm-hmm. on top. Yeah, I want to mix. Well, I well, I thought. Well, knowing that it's Elijah Craig, I thought so too because I love Elijah Craig. But yeah. I thought you were cheating because you can't. 
That's a cheat. That's a thirty. That is that, not a cheat. It's a thirty dollar bottle. I gave you a picture and a receipt. That I know. Is not a cheat. I have, but I have, I have never seen that for less it's, than twenty. It's not the viewer a pr- has probably it's never not a seen cheat it for as less much than twenty. As it is a cheat code. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like you play a video game. It's like, are you cheating? Yeah, but, if you but use I a cheat can, code? I, no. It's programmed in the game technically. So no. It's like, no, it's a cheat code if I can use a coupon. It's a cheat if it's just. That's a coupon. Yeah. That is a coupon. It's the same thing as a coupon. It's a sale. Mm-hmm. I right. didn't use That's a coupon. A coupon I didn't use any. There was no mail-in rebate. Yeah. I went into the store. Yeah, but if you didn't live in New Prague, saw it you for twenty dollars. Would have never purchased it, it at twenty dollars. There was nothing I cheated at. Yeah. I didn't look previously to see if anyone had on sale yep. uh, pricing anywhere. Yep. I just happened to walk in, mm-hmm. find a select single barrel yep. for $20. So the one I want to try is if we do a $40 level and we mix in the 101 and the fighting cock. Mm-hmm. Should we? we can but, mix or right like now. maybe either like a 40 proof or no, a $40 level or we do like a 100 proof. So you want to okay. so you want to do high proof or just a hundred proof? You want to do bottle and bond? Something, ba- battle of the bottle and bond? You maybe could. something battle of the bo- bottle and bond or something bottle that's in that bottle. same. <laughs> yeah, I've had enough whiskey. That I'm starting to slur. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit sorry. You should um, drink more whiskey. You mm-hmm. should be drinking more whiskey. <laughs> no, I, I like. I, well, I do like these mm-hmm. because I feel like both of these, the fighting cock and the wild turkey, could be well, very both, good outliers to mix in with something that. It costs way more, uh-huh. and to see in a blind taste test if they compete actually. Mm-hmm. Well, then the I w- fact that we like these so much in this price range. Yeah, well then I would I would usually I would I would combine like the Elijah Craig with something else because I want those flavors with more proof. I want an Elijah Craig barrel proof basically. Or something we, like I that. mean, you could do you could do whatever. I mean, you well, do... like so like the barrel proof that I have, I think is too much. Like it's mm-hmm. fun. Yeah, it's have, hot. It's real hot. It's it's a challenge. It's yeah. it's almost like a gimmick. Well, it's almost seventy <laughs> percent. It's like what one thirty six point eight or something like yeah. that. It's just like an absurd number. So I think if you have a lesser proof version of that, it's fantastic. That one's just kind of like fun to have. Like oh, no, I, how high yeah. proof it I is. I think I think we should definitely consider doing like a a thirty dollar blind. You know, something similar to what this, and you know, like Brooklyn said, maybe a bottle and bond, maybe yep. something else, maybe a, uh, a cask strength one. You know, there's definitely possibilities. I, I like the idea of that you have like an outlier that you throw mm-hmm. in that's not part of that group. Yeah, that so was that this was time. Fun. This worked out really well because it actually was part of the group. Yeah, ironically, it was an outlier. <laughs> but we we had just in our heads thought there was gonna be an outlier, yep. so we're like, which one tastes like? Oh, this obviously is it, and then yep. it wasn't. It was like. All right. Well, I think that's it. going forward, we know what to do. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, Liquor Boy, for being our, our waiter, serving and, us the liquor. And don't judge your whiskey by price. Table. Just just buy it because your friend said it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Wild turkey's good. Have a good one. Good night. Good night.